good day to you all and welcome back to my channel today my name is Chekube Uh in today's video we want to learn how to estimate impulse response function by local projection okay um, impulse response function we are all familiar with that uh, in var analysis uh, which is usually uh, performed to uh, see the effect of unanticipated shock uh, from one variable to another okay now uh, the impulse response by local projection is the bread child of uh, Joda 2005 uh, uh, I'm going to give a brief background of the uh, impulse response by local projection by pointing out some fallouts of the conventional VAR uh, impulse responses. Uh, impulse responses are usually estimated from the world uh, the composition of a linear multivariate Markov model such as VAR. We already know that. And of course VAR follows a two-step uh, procedure. And this two-step procedure consists of uh, first estimating the model and then inverting its mm -hmm. estimate to find the impulse responses, which is which is only justified if the model coincides with the data generating processes. Of course, there is no reason to expect that the data uh, the data are generated by a VAR. Rather, most real economy data follow. VAR moving average uh, pattern and um, the key insight here according to uh, Joda 2005 is that the estimator of a model based on the sample such as VAR represent a linear global approximation to the data generating process ideal and is optimally designed for a one period ahead forecast and of course even when the model is misspecified it may still produce reasonable one period ahead forecast according to stock and was in 1999 an impulse, impulse response is a function of forecast at increasingly distant horizon and thus Misspecification errors are compounded with the forecast horizon. So, uh, because of this, uh, Joda 2005 suggests that it is preferable to use a collection of projections local to each forecast, that each forecast horizon instead, thus matching design and evaluations. Now, let us explore some advantages of impulse responses by local projection first according to joda 2005 they can be estimated by simple least squares second they provide appropriate joints or individual individual inference that does not require asymptotic delta method approximation or numerical techniques for each calculation they are robust to misspecification of the data generating process. They easily accommodate experimentation with highly nonlinear specifications that are often impractical or infeasible in a multivariate con con context. So the, the general uh, 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 idea of the of uh, impulse response by local projection is that um, the conventional VAR impulse responses may have uh, may suffer the problem of misspecification errors and um, the issue of uh, lag length the issue of lag length which may uh, affect the degree of freedom especially when there is small sample size uh, is is actually resolved within the framework of uh, 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 local projection impulse responses. So it, when you are working with a small sample size in the conventional VAR which follows the uh, approximation to global uh, data 
uh, you may have a lot of problems but when you follow the local projection uh, the problem may be can be minimized okay that's the major concern of this uh, impulse responses by local projection so please i will advise uh, any interested reader or researcher who may wish to apply impulse response by local projection to make reference to uh, joda 2005 the document joda 2005 okay it's very very important now turning to our work file we want to particularize or dramatize what uh, the uh, local projection uh, impulse responses using eView and uh, here is our work file and uh, we have our variables as we have always used to uh, practicalize some uh, modeling and here we have uh, our dependent variable gdp mop and these these are the variables we have here so we can open them as group and of course, you can name the group group one. So first, we are going to estimate a usual normal var, the standard var. So after estimating the var, we name the var object. Uh, it becomes uh, <coughs> the var object enters the work file and become uh, var zero one. Okay, that's the var object. So after do doing this, we go to our adding. Uh, because we need to open it so that let, it, let us keep it open we move to our add-in and look for uh, our local projection impulse response function so here the name of object has been highlighted automatically because we are estimated the standard var and of course we left it open so every other thing here you can choose the decomposition method of course uh, conventionally we chose uh, uh, Cholesky uh, adjusted uh, every other thing remaining the way it is here uh, we display the chart we may also compare the result with the var impulse responses so most of the times we have to compare with the var impulse responses so this add-in is written by Aaron Oka the 2016 uh, we click ok so having clicked ok we see the result out uh, response to Celeste 1 standard deviation innovation 95 percent uh, marginal confidence band so this is what the result look like so the green line is the standard var impulse response uh, line which is compared to the uh, local projection impulse response uh, line so this is how the result actually looks like when it comes out and as it's coming out it has already been saved in the work file okay you can see it in the work file okay that is the work file it is already saved uh, this is the simple procedure for the impulse response by local projection I hope this video is useful to any interested uh, uh, researcher who might want to uh, apply this method for further research. Thank you very much and God bless you. And please subscribe, uh, share the video and like and comment.